What's going on YouTube? This is Parker Light 88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, we're going to be doing a character breakdown for Dai Shi. Similar to my other character breakdowns, we're going to be running through the move list, doing some combos, and then I'm going to talk about a game plan for Dai Shi. So, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start talking about Dai Shi's mobility. So Dai Shi being this weird demon cat thingy, you would expect him to have pretty quick mobility, right? And you would be right on that. Daishi is actually one of the quicker moving characters in this game. As you guys can see, his forward dash is pretty quick, covers a decent amount of range. The same thing for his back dash. His attack dash is the same thing. <clears throat> covers a decent amount of range, pretty quick. I personally think that his wave dash is the most effective way to move about the screen with Daishi. It's pretty quick, it carries his momentum, and, it, and it, it covers a decent amount of space at the same time. Now, another thing about Daishi's mobility is going to be his super jump. So if you do a dash and then you jump afterwards, your character will cover a lot more distance in their jump than they normally would. This is especially even more so the case with Daishi. When you do his jump, he covers what I feel like is so much more distance than other characters, which is really important for him to get in. And you can also get some cross-ups <clears throat> from really, really far away with Daishi. So when you're messing around with his mobility, just make sure that you're getting used to that as well. Moving into normal base attacks, we have Standing Light, Crouching Light, Standing Medium, Crouching Medium, Standing Hard, and Crouching Hard, which is his sweep. <clears throat> if we're talking about command normals, we have Backward Hard, which gives you Daishi's launcher. Moving into aerial based attacks, we have Air Light, we have Air Medium, this is going to be your cross up, and then we have Air Hard, which I think is his best jump in from the front. <clears throat> Now, if we're talking about normals that you want to be using all the time, your main normal, or more than others rather, it's going to be your standing medium. Any move that advances you forward and has decent range is a good move. This is especially more so with Daishi, because his <clears throat> his hard auto combos and his medium auto combos both advance him forward. This is not only important for pressure, but if you're in situations where you need to either make yourself safe or extend combos, because of the extra hit confirmability that, th that those moves give you, it makes them really good. And like I and I already kind of already glossed over this, but standing hard for the same reason, it just has more range. He's actually very similar to Zed in that way, he just doesn't cover as much range. I do like his hard option better, just because his hard auto combo does come in three parts. Which just makes the hit confirmability uh, even easier, as opposed to Zed, which comes in two parts. So it just depends on how much hit confirmability that you want in order to recognize like what you feel like you need to do next against your opponent. I personally think medium is the way to go. And then I already mentioned that um, your jumping medium is your cross-up, and then this is a good jump in. You're hard. <clears throat> Alright, let's move into throw. Now, I really like Daishi's throws because, you know, when you're in the middle of throw, you can tag in a character in order to continue doing combos and stuff like that. And this is also true off of his back because it causes a ground bounce. You just have to know how to extend properly with that. And you can use assist, I am sure. I just have not practiced it at all. Let's move into EX. Probably my favorite EX move that um, is in the game right now, next to uh, Quantum Red, just because I love that dunk at the end. One more time. Yeah, that dunk is so cool. All right, super. I actually am not a big fan of Daishi's uh, super. He has a maximum Wesker slash maximum Spider type thing where he just like zips zips all over the screen and like hits the opponent. I don't like this move. Because when you are doing your combos and whatnot, this actually adds a very minuscule amount of damage to the end of your combos. I would actually recommend just doing EX unless you know that's going to kill. It's actually really neat for Daishi because it makes me like him even better up front. Because he doesn't need a lot of meter in order to get the brunt of damage uh, from his combos. But while this is what I feel a low damaging um, super at the end of combos, it does have an interesting property. Potentially. So, we do super, you will see that it looks like it has the ability to cross up depending on where the opponent is on the screen whenever you do Daishi super. This can allow you to be a little cheeky and maybe sneak in some extra damage if, you, if you're just like feeling like that, like if you think you might be able to cross them up, assuming that it does. I actually haven't practiced this, but it's just a neat little tidbit that's possible for Daishi. Alright guys, and that'll do it for all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and move into Daishi's special moves. 
And the first one we're going to go over is Neutral Special. So if you do Neutral Special, Daishi will just do this run across the screen. And if you don't do anything out of that, whenever he actually meets the opponent, he will do the Slash, which will put the opponent in a crumpled state, which will allow you to follow up for combos pretty easily. Now, you can actually stop this run at any point during his run, except like when he's like right in front of the opponent's face, because then he'll just do the Slash, as you guys can see here. It's, it's, it's a pretty neat thing for his pressure, because you can do Staggers, and then, you know, do the throws from that, and just all kind of neat stuff like that. Another neat property of this move is that it actually has armor. It has about three hits of armor to it, and the reason why I know this is because I tested it against Time Force Pink. Time Force Pink is really good against characters who have armor because she has a lot of multi-hitting moves, but her standing hard, for instance, has about seven hits, and afterwards it did about four, so Daishi gets about three hits of armor before you'll just hit him out of it. Really good for bulldogging your way in. Now, one thing I do want to mention about this move is that he actually has to be in the middle of his run in order to actually get his armor. If you try and do it on reaction, if he doesn't get into that run, then it'll just hit him out of it, as you guys saw right there. So just something important to uh, keep in mind. You can't really do this on reaction. You have to have a good read on your opponent, but it's, it's just a good tool nonetheless. <clears throat> now, in addition to those things, he actually gets a number of follow-ups out of this run. If you do the light attack option, he'll actually get this Berserker Slash. What's neat about this move is that if you're close to your opponent, like let's say you're about right here, right? If you let the run rock for a little bit, you can actually use the light attack option in order to cross up your opponent and extend with assists, of course. Now, if we do the medium attack option, he'll get this giant flaming paw type thingy. I love this move. It's my favorite one that he has. This is his anti-air from, from distances. If you actually hit somebody with it, it puts them in a, a state like this, which allows you to follow up for combos... It's a little, it's a little wonky. You have to take like a step back just because of how close it puts you to the opponent, but it still lets you follow up, and that's really nice. <clears throat> now we have the hard attack option, probably his most important option from his run. It allows him to spawn this projectile that just kind of stays in one place. It has a decent amount of projectile um, hits to it, so you can actually use it to tank a number of things. So let's turn Tommy back on for a second. You can take about three hits, which is pretty cool. All right, hold on. All right, Tommy's just being a jerk right now. Tommy, stop it. There we go. So yeah, you can actually use it to soak like about three hits worth of projectile. It's pretty cool. All right, enough of that. And that is going to be his most important option, because not only can you use it defensively in that and that way, but <clears throat> off of a hard knockdown is where it really shines. Because after you do a hard knockdown, if you don't feel like using the meter to do damage, you can actually just place it right over your opponent, and they have to wake up into that, which allows Daishi to get uh, pretty, pretty nasty with his with his mix-up, whether he wants to do stagger pressure or go for a cross-up or something like that. And that combination with assist just means Daishi can just get away with murder, essentially. And that's going to do it for neutral special. Let's go ahead and start moving into forward special. Forward special gives him this one, which is very similar to Akuma's Demon Flip. Just like Neutral Special, if you don't do anything, he gets an inherent follow-up out of that, which is going to be his, this, this sliding maneuver that hits low. But of course, we get follow-ups out of this. If we do the light attack option, he'll do the swipe in front of the opponent, which leads to a uh, which leads to a ground bounce, and then triangle hits behind. Which you can actually do follow-ups from pretty easily. Now, if we do um, the heart attack option, he'll do this drop down part. Which, the closer you are to your opponent, the better this move is, because you can actually delay it and actually get a cross-up. This actually makes this move pretty ambiguous with where you want to go. It kind of puts your opponent in a guessing state, where it's like, if they think that you are going to cross-up because you crossed up before, you can just do it in front of them, and then you can just, you know, do combos and stuff from there. <clears throat> so a very interesting move for Daishi. Let's move into his back special. Back special, I think, is probably his most important special move. It gives him this wall clink maneuver. As you guys can see here, he will cling to the wall. If you don't do anything, after a while, he'll just drop down from the wall. If you want to go ahead and drop down from the wall, you can just press special again, and he'll just drop straight down uh, from the wall. He'll just let go. This is really nice because it basically allows him to kind of, like, fake his movements. If you've been doing, like, lunges off the wall and stuff like that um, for, for a while, and you want to mix it up, you can just do this and bait your opponent into doing something silly, which you can proceed to punish them with. So that's really nice. Daishi also gets a number of falls from this, as he does his other moves. If you press the light attack, he'll do the swipe on the wall. If you press the medium attack option, he'll actually do this dive kick. This dive kick actually causes a, a wall bounce. 
which you can extend for combos. And as you guys saw there, the heart attack option will give him the ability to switch walls. Now, after you have switched walls one time, if you press the heart attack button again, he'll just drop down from the wall, as you guys can see there. But if you want to switch back to the other side of the wall, you can just press the light attack option again, and then you'll be able to switch. It's something you'll have to get used to. But that's not actually all the dice he gets from that. He can also do his forward special off the wall, and do all the follow-ups that come with that. <clears throat> he can just straight jump off the wall, which is actually really important depending on how far your opponent is away from the corner. Because let's say that they are eh, about like right here and you want to do the wall cling. If you jump, just do a straight jump off a wall, you can actually get a cross up and, and do things like that and you can just continue your pressure from there. <clears throat> or, you know, your combos and whatnot. The other thing that he gets is his aerial special. So, from his forward special and just in the air, you can get his aerial special move, which is this roar. This is a very interesting move because not only does it cause a wall bounce, but it also propels Daishi backwards, which makes his movement, which looks on paper like it could be predictable, but once you get enough practice, you can actually make his movement very unpredictable, because between doing his wall cling, his forward special, and the aerial special, and just being able to drop down from the wall, it makes him unpredictable. So with a little bit of practice, you can actually, you know, play some pretty cool mind games with your opponent and actually get some punishes from your opponent from there. And the fact that his roar causes a wall bounce means that he can extend combos pretty well with it. And guys, that's going to do it for all of Daishi's special moves. Alright guys, now that we're done with all that, let's go ahead and start moving into our combo, starting with auto combo number 1 with lights, auto combo number 2 with mediums, and auto combo number 3 with hards. <clears throat> so, we're going to step up our easy combos here, and what we're going to do is we're going to do a standing medium, crouching medium, into hard auto combo. From here, we'll be able to sneak in a crouching light, standing medium, standing hard, and then from here we can do one of two things. If they're not in the corner, we'll just go straight into super, right? But if they are in the corner, hard normally causes a hard knockdown on air opponents, but if we're in the corner, we'll be able to actually do crouching hard right after the standing hard, which will allow us to combo into EX. So altogether, we should have something that kind of looks like this. If we're out of the corner, just for super, We have this option. And that's how we get to EX. Alright guys, let's go ahead and start moving into our intermediate combos. This is where a lot of Daishi's bread and butters are going to come from. Similar to our easy combo, it'll start the same way. Now, once we get to this hard knockdown, what we'll do is we'll cancel that hard, that standing hard, into forward special. <clears throat> and out of forward special, once we're about right here, we will do the light attack option. This will hit our opponent off the ground. This will allow us to sneak in a staggered standing medium, crouching medium, into launcher. So at this particular point, what we'll have is something that looks like this. Now, from our launcher, we can do a couple of different follow-ups. <clears throat> We can do the easiest follow-up, which is we just jump up and do a staggered air light medium. We'll do the first two hits of standing medium auto combo, and a hard for the hard knockdown. And if we're in the corner, which we most likely will be at this point, because for a couple of reasons. Number one, the hard knockdown that you get off of standing hard will throw them towards the corner, and then Daishi's forward special tracks to wherever the opponent is, which is, at this particular point, the corner. So we'll be able to do these follow-ups. But anyway, after launcher, our easiest attack option is into medium auto combo, the first two hits. Then we'll do standing hard, into crouching hard, and we can go into EX from there. So we'll get... So we have that option. The next thing that we can do and my preferred option, because it looks cool, is after we do Launcher, we'll cancel Launcher into Neutral Special, into the Medium Attack option to get the Flaming Paw. This will propel the opponent towards us, and we can get that. We'll back up a little bit, first two hits of Standing Medium uh, Auto Combo, 
into standing hard, crouching hard, and we'll go into EX. So we'll get... So the next thing I want to talk about for you guys is what to do off of just a raw forward special into the slash there, <clears throat> and from the wall cling into the uh, the dive kick which causes our wall bounce here. Just what our follow ups are from that. So from our from our swipe from our lunge, we'll do the first two hits of standing medium auto combo into hard, and then from there we'll do the lunge into our off the ground hitting square, uh, light attack option. So you'll get so you'll get this. And then from there, the combo just proceeds like normal. The same thing can sort of be said for the wall bounce from the wall cling. We will have enough time in order to run up, do a standing medium into standing hard. We'll then do another lunge into the light attack option, and we'll just continue the combo from there. So you should get something that looks like this. And then, of course, we have our wall bounce. Those are pretty important follow-ups to know from those, because you'll be actually using those a lot. Now, let's start moving into the fun stuff, our advanced combos. Now we'll actually start incorporating assist into our combos. I like using Jen and, Tri and Trini. I think that they are, are the best options for what Daishi wants to do. Now Daishi's uh, advanced combos are gonna be very, very similar up to uh, a certain certain point. Similar to the intermediate combos, we'll do this number. So we have all this right, but this is where it actually gets a little bit different. So whenever you're gearing up for your forward uh, special, this lunge right here, that's when you'll actually want to do your first assist call, and that is going to be with Jen for her hidden missiles. Uh, the timing for this is going to be forward special, call Jen, and then you're going to want to wait until you're right above the opponent's head, like right around this area, in order to press the square button again. This can actually get a little bit tricky, but basically you'll, you'll get this. And that's about the timing that you want. From here, you'll finish the intermediate combo per normal, where you'll do your staggered standing medium, crouching medium in the launcher. And by this particular point, they'll actually hit the missiles. And this is where the next most important part comes up, where once you do your uh, back with hard for your launcher, you will then cancel that into special. And then you'll do the heart attack option to throw out the nice uh, little sunball thingamajigger. This is really important because the way that they land on the sunball after they... Um, after they hit the missiles, will cause them to bounce on, on the sunball, so we'll be able to do the next part of our follow-up. But let's just go ahead and work with what we've got so far. Alright, so we got... And the way they bounce on that is really important, because the next thing that we'll do is we'll actually be able to do every single follow-up out of Daishi's um, run after we do that that flaming ball. So after they're bouncing on the flaming ball, we'll do the Berserker Slash, they'll bounce off of that, and then we'll be able to do the paw, and then we'll just, you know, finish up the combo per normal. So at this particular point, we'll have something that looks like this. We can actually take this one step further with Trini's assist. <clears throat> because, as mentioned before, we can do hard knockdown into spawning another flaming ball, right? Now, the timing for this, if you want to incorporate Trini's assist, is going to be very similar to when we did the lunch. It's going to be special, call Trini, and then press the, and then press, um, the circle to spawn the, the next flaming ball. So let's see if we can just do the launcher, and we'll do this next part. And that'll happen, and they'll hit the flaming ball like that. 
Now, after this particular point, we'll be able to actually jump up, do a jumping medium. We'll then do standing medium, standing hard, crouching hard, and then we can go into EX and stuff from there. So if you want to take it one step further, you'll get something that looks like this. And that is the fun stuff. <clears throat> now, you can get all of these same combos from the same follow-ups that we talked about in our intermediate combos. So you can get the same follow-ups from, from the wall dive. And you can also get it from the swipe. Why? It's mostly because of Jen. The hardest part about this is really just Jen. She really just allows Daishi to do whatever like he wants to do as far as like follow-ups and pressure and all of that kind of stuff. So pretty much in any situation where Jen is available and you're about to go for your lunge and your combo, you'll just do the start for the lunge, which is forward special, call Jen, and then do your off-the-ground follow-up. This, 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 and then you'll, you'll be good to go from there. So you can get... So you can also get... So pretty cool stuff for sure. Alright guys, now that we're done doing combos, let's talk about Daishi's game plan. And if you haven't figured it out by now, Daishi, if you want to do well with Daishi, you're going to have to master his movement. That is his run, his wall cling, and his lunge. The first thing you want to do is make sure not to be too predictable with your movement. The fact that Daishi can literally cover the screen in a single bound is going to be very tempting to deal with more defensive characters, but if you're playing against somebody who knows what they're doing, they're going to start getting hip to your jive and they're going to be able to actually start punishing uh, this, this stuff, which will only be more frustrating for you. That means mixing in some fakes, some side switches, and mixing in some of his neutral special to propel him backwards, because if they think that you're going to punish them with something, being able to do this in order to get out of trouble, and then you can punish them for stuff like that, so they don't really know what to do, which will allow you to do his more predictable ways of getting in, like doing the lunge or just doing a full screen jump in, you know, things like that. So that's one thing you want to get used to, just being more unpredictable with your movements. The next thing I want to talk about is his run. So his run cancels. You can stagger his run cancels, and this is actually really important for Shadow Ranger too. Doing Daishi first just because his is slower will actually be a really good way for you to learn how to do Shadow Rangers um, stance cancels as well. But Daishi can do the same thing, but as opposed to it being more so for his advanced combos, it's more just for his pressure. Because you can do things like this, you can do the, the same cancels, same staggers, all that kind of stuff, jumping around. And then mixing that up between um, doing his uh, this in order to lock down, that's going to be really important for Daishi. So run cancels, very important. <clears throat> the next thing that's important with Daishi is what assist you use. I truthfully think that Jen is going to be Daishi's best friend in this game because what he wants to do synergizes so well with Jen and then just his ability to wall cling, putting himself at full screen for you when you call Jen and then going back in is going to be really good uh, for Daishi. And it's good for Jen because it keeps her safe. This is even more so apparent when you're like in the mid screen. So for instance, let's say you're somewhere here and you do like a string, call Jen, it keeps her out of harm's way. Like she's off the screen. So you can't, unless you know I'm going to call Jen to punish with like something, she's out of harm's way. So you get free lockdown pressure with Jen and Daishi. That in combination with the fact that he has a slim Orby thingy, he can do this into assist call for cross up mix ups, just makes him a very deadly character. So I truthfully think that you should learn how to play Jen in some capacity if you really want to optimize what Daishi does. It just so happens that I enjoy playing Jen, so it works out. 
So guys, if you can master Daishi's movement in combination with his pressure off of knockdown from his flaming Orby thingy and the right assist with Jen, I really think you guys will be doing pretty good with Daishi. And that, guys, will do it for this character breakdown featuring Daishi. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and Happy New Year.